So inside this video, I'm gonna share with you the exact methodology to creating content that's gonna help you generate more inbound inquiries, more consults, more sales calls, more clients. Whatever you wanna do for your personal training business or your online coaching business, it honestly doesn't matter. If you include in your content what I'm about to teach you inside this video, I guarantee that's gonna be the case for you because most trainers and coaches and fitness professionals, they do not have what I'm about to teach you in their content. And the three fundamental things you're gonna need in your content to get people to reach out to you is what you're gonna to need to generate sales. And so inside this video, we're gonna cover that. And this is not theory, this is practical things that have worked in the real world. Since 2018, I've helped implement this with over 1,500 personal trainers, health and fitness coaches. I've done it in my own business. I've been using it this week and last week to generate sales. And so I'm gonna teach you exactly what to do, how to do it, and how to put it into practice quickly. Just bear with me till the end and I'll show you everything. All right, so when it comes to writing content to get clients, whether that's personal training clients or even online personal training, online coaching, online health clients, then there's gonna be a very specific type of content that's gonna help you with generating sales, okay? So if you're looking to generate sales, then incorporating this type of content is gonna help you do that. And this is what we class as pain point marketing, okay? And there's three very specific ingredients that go into creating pain point marketing content, which I'm gonna get into in this video. And if you do this correctly, then you're gonna get people reaching out to you. You're gonna get inbound leads, inbound conversations. If you're booking calls or doing consults, more people are going to come to you versus you chasing people okay so i'm going to break down what this looks like and um, the ingredients you need so the first one is we want to be actually looking at the pain points of the market that we're trying to essentially attract right so as you say you work with mums specifically now mums are going to have very specific pain points that if you know what these pain points are then you can then build that into your content because if you actually are able to hit someone's pain points and they feel the pain when reading your content, seeing your content, consuming your content, they're much more likely to take some form of action because pain leads to change. Have you ever been in pain before? What did you do? If it was your tooth, you went to the dentist. If it was your your head, you went to the, the drug cabinet and got some paracetamol. If like you hurt your leg and it was was bleeding, then you probably went to the emergency department, right? So pain leads to action, it leads to change. And so by building in the pain into your content, that's gonna lead people to reacting. But that's not just it. And I've got a few more things to share with you that are really important in this process. If you really wanna be good at creating content to get personal training clients or online coaching clients. So the next thing is objections. Now, what I mean by this is, there's gonna be specific objections that people have when it comes to working with you, whether that's signing up for personal training, whether that's signing up for online coaching, it doesn't really matter what it is, but people are gonna have objections. Maybe, is this gonna work for me? Am I gonna be able to um, follow the plan? Is this person credible? Like there's gonna be a lot of different objections that someone may have that stops them from making that decision to reach out. And if you can address that in your content too, then it just gets so much more powerful because essentially that's what you do in a sales process, right? You have to overcome objections before someone says yes a lot of the time. And so we can start to do that straight away in the content even before they decide to reach out because often people are not reaching out is because they have objections about working with us. And so if we can address those immediately in the content, we get way more leads and people reaching out, okay? Now the next thing is limiting beliefs. And I've put belief, but it should be beliefs because there's a lot of limiting beliefs that people place on themselves that, that stop them from joining uh, a training program, signing up to online coaching, hiring a trainer, right? There's lots of limiting beliefs. And these limiting beliefs could be, well, this won't work for me because of X, or I won't be able to get results because of X, or 
I'm not able to do that because of X. Like they're gonna have a lot of these limiting beliefs that stop them from taking some form of action to make a change, right? And so if you can address the limiting beliefs in your content, then that means they're gonna be more likely to reach out, to ask for help, to actually take that step and, and um, make that investment into personal training or online coaching, right? And so tackling the limiting beliefs is also another part of this process. And so if we look at what traditionally most people do is they just post a lot of tips and workouts and recipes and hacks and lists and all these great valuable pieces of content, but they never really get into what I call pain point marketing, right? Addressing people's pain points, addressing people's objections, addressing people's limiting beliefs. Once you start to do this really, really well, you're going to get more inbound leads, okay? It's just a fact. One, because I've done it myself for my own business and I've taught this to probably about 1,500 people at this stage in, in, in terms of why and how to do this okay so if we come over to here this is where we actually build it into the content and it could be written which i think is the best for this type of content so whether that's a written post on facebook or an email or an instagram post or a linkedin post it doesn't matter but written content seems to work the best when it comes to pain point marketing content and then this is the key thing right in order to make the content work really, really well so that you actually start generating sales, clients, new people coming into your programs, there's a fundamental thing here that's really gonna be important is in order to be able to do this and this and this, like tackling these things effectively, we really need to know who we're speaking to, right? We need to know who is the audience. Is it moms? Is it dads? Is it a specific group of people with a specific type of goal or problem? Because if you drill down to a specific group of people with a specific type of problem or goal, then you can actually tailor these pain points, objections and limiting beliefs in the content specifically to these people and it just becomes that much more potent. Now, if you're liking this so far, I'm thinking of doing another video where I actually break down the type of questions that you'll need to ask yourself in order to create this type of content. So the, the, the questions to get all the ingredients you need to create this type of content and then how to actually structure out this content. What does that content actually look like? If you think that would be helpful, let me know in the comments below um, if you want me to create a part two to this video. But essentially, if we just summarize everything, you build in the pain points, the objections, the limiting beliefs into your content and you speak to a specific group of people, you're going to get way more inbound leads, inquiries, consults, and sales. That's a fact.